water, clean air, diversity of fish and wildlife uh, all depend on healthy watershed function and processes. We have spent 150 years with models of economic development that resulted in altered landscapes. Uh, we did a lot of that without the full understanding of what the consequences of those decisions were. And we're, as we start to understand what the consequences of those historical decisions were, it's really important to invest in ways to change those activities, change those structures that impede the functioning of watersheds to provide clean water, healthy habitats. The restoration economy blossom and the value of our investments are starting to be recognized in local communities around the state for the economic impact and benefit. The whole watershed restoration initiative is a really great construct for delivering on the ground restoration. The WWRI is a partnership um, of which Ecotrust is the hub um, and as a, a non-governmental entity Ecotrust is the perfect organization to have at the, at the hub of this partnership because of some of the unique perspectives and resources that it brings to the table. The partnership also includes NOAA's community-based restoration program, Region 6 of the United States Forest Service, the Oregon Watershed Enhancement Board, the Bureau of Land Management, and the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service. Those entities now, through federal, uh, nonprofit, uh, and state partners, can blend their resources together, meet mutual objectives, and I think accelerate the conservation work that we do by setting those targets uh, very explicitly. A shift that we're making through this partnership is a shift from being opportunistic to being more strategic. And um, rather than spread resources thinly across a huge geography, by focusing in these key watersheds, key locations, and really targeting resources into those areas, we're able to get enough done that we can actually appreciate an environmental and a biological response. If we use an approach like the whole watershed restoration initiative, we're able to be very thoughtful about the kinds of actions we need to take and also very focused about how we spend the money to address those problems. Grants that are put into communities also create jobs. They create, uh, they purchase goods and services, um, and those dollars make their way into the local communities that have great benefit above and beyond just the conservation values that we're investing in. We can have both productivity and protection on the same landscape. And so all of our work deals with how to find long-term solutions so that we can, in the long run, become a people at home in a place.